a few fish underneath us. Let's throw in the Norris tail spinner. Just cast it out, let it sink to the very bottom. Once we hit the bottom, we're just doing a couple little hops off the bottom and then just slowly winding it back through the school. Got quite a few fish on the sounder. Sink. Yeah, I got him. Oh, that's a good fish, good fish. I just got him lip hooked. That's Snorri's tail spinner. There's the basket all crazy. Not a bad fish. Chasing these school bass, we're sitting in about 30, 31 foot of water. As you can see on the sounder, fish are sitting off the bottom. Pretty good school of them. Just basically casting out, letting the head hit in the bottom. And then just a slow roll back through the school. Oh, this one. bring it up through the school, let it sink back down through them again and then just uh, widen it back up again. Oh, short striking. Might try a hop. There's a bit of a little fish on the sounder there. Oh yeah, there's a good fish on the drop. Not a bad bass. Got that. Tail spinner just down his gob like that. So I managed to just get that one then right off the bottom, just doing one hop off the bottom. Just on the on the sink. Not a big fish. Very sales for now. Get four.
bottom. Forecast, it's not bad going. Another nice sized fish. Once again, just on the Norris tail spinner. Working wonders at the moment. Don't make it. Another fish. As you can see, the fish are still absolutely stacked on the sounder. A couple of decent fish in the school, which is good as well. Couple of hops off the bottom like that. Just keep in contact with the line as it's dropping because they seem to be hitting it on the drop like that. Double. Brady's got one down the back there. So as you can see, I just kept contact with the line that time. As as I said, the fish seemed to be hitting it on the drop. It's not a big fish. Tail spinner just down his gob like that. 